Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to yet another interesting episode. Um, I'm very, very happy to be here and hope you guys are doing okay. Um, for some time now, many of my fans and my subscribers here on YouTube, they've sent me messages asking Osa Comedy, give us countries that have job opportunities. Because like I've said before, every one of us, we cannot go to Canada. Everybody cannot go to America. Everybody cannot go to UK. We have to spread. You understand there are opportunities in other countries as well. So in this very video today, I am bringing to your notice five countries with good job opportunities. I repeat, five countries with juicy job opportunities for foreigners. So if that is something you are interested in, I think you are in the right place. And now, these five countries I'm bringing to you is based on my experience as a traveler. People I speak to from all over the world on a regular basis. So I know what is trending. You understand? As a travel advisor, I know what is trending. You understand? So whenever I say this is how things are, Believe me, as at the time of bringing that into your notice, that is how it is. So, if you are just coming across my channel for the very first time, my name is Nosa Comedy, the man with the remedy. Many of my fans call me Nosa from the source. That is because I bring undiluted information to you directly from the source. And they call me the man with the remedy. That's because I remedy travel situations. So, um, Please, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Things are happening here. This is one channel on YouTube where we say things the way they are. We don't sugarcoat. You understand? So, let's go to this video proper. And please, support me by sharing this video, subscribing, and giving this video a big thumbs up. Those your like, those your big like, I value them. And I value you as well. Those likes, they help YouTube recommend this video for other people as well. And it helps the YouTube algorithm. Now, the very first country I will mention here is Finland. The reason why I am mentioning Finland is that whenever a country comes up with what they call job seeker visa. Believe me, there are job opportunities in that country. Because a country or countries who don't have job opportunities for foreigners, what will be the need of introducing a visa that will allow people to come to their country to come and work? You understand? And Currently, as I speak to you, there are lots of job opportunities in Finland. Like you already know, I am not a travel agent. My own is to bring information to your domain and you make use of it if you are interested. Because now I have seen cases where people are going to South Korea, um, going to Japan with some kind of visas. I'm like, you can't be spending 4 million naira. Let me talk in naira now. Or let me say, you can't be spending $4 million. No, I said $4 million. $4,000. Sorry. You can't be spending $4,000 to go to South Korea with a visitor visa from Nigeria or from Ghana. There is somebody who called me some days ago and was telling me a travel agent wants to um, process a one month um conference visa for him to go to south korea that if he gets there in goofy also i was like one month hmm. for a country where they speak english you won't go there with one month and you got to see your fee changer okay so number one is finland and number two on my list is germany the reason why i am picking germany here is that based on what people they are saying and based on my research, 
Germany came out and said um, they are looking forward to employing about 400,000 people during a specific time. And majority of them will be from outside, outside Germany. So that is the reason why they introduced the opportunity card and the job seeker visa. I have done videos on this before. So you can go to my YouTube channel here, scroll down, and you will find that video. And um, now, let me talk on the Germany job seeker visa. The Germany job seeker visa is a kind of visa that allows you to come to Germany without first having to land a job. That is to say, in many cases, to get a work visa in a foreign country, you will have to first of all get a job offer from an employer from that country. But the German job seeker visa doesn't require you to get a job from a German employer. All you have to do is to meet four of the five requirements. You understand? And um, one of them is an approval of funds. Um, a degree that is equivalent to that of the German degree, whether vocational or otherwise, something like that. So just go down, scroll down to my channel. You will see that video there. So that's why I'm picking Germany. There are job opportunities in Germany. I am saying it. Number three, New Zealand. Yes, New Zealand. Um, it's no longer news that um, not too long ago, the New Zealand government introduced what they call the New Zealand Accredited Employer Work Visa. The New Zealand Accredited Employer Work Visa. That visa was launched by the New Zealand government to allow New Zealand employers to employ people from outside New Zealand. That is, that video was launched so that accredited employers in New Zealand can hire foreigners from all over the world to come and work in New Zealand. And in most cases, these employers are the ones that will be responsible for your visa processing, up to flight ticket and accommodation in many cases. And you can get these jobs, I have said it before, you can get these jobs on Indeed dot com i n d e e d indeed dot com and you can also get this job on glassdoor just type these things on your browser they will pop up indeed glassdoor then seek s e e k that's a job website too and new zealand have said it that um they look forward to employing thousands of people from outside of New Zealand. You understand? And thousands of these visas are available every single year. Number four, Australia. To be honest, people have said that it is not easy going to Australia to a very large extent. True. But people are getting the Australia visa on a regular basis because I speak to people from Australia regularly too. So I know what is happening there. The issue is just that the Australia immigration want the right people there. You understand? Like I've said before, I am not a travel agent. My own is to bring information to you. That information you are looking for. Instead of you putting the fate of going abroad in the hands of travel agents. Imagine travel agent with take as much as $5,000 from people in Nigeria. They will be going to Cambodia, Vietnam, spending $2,000, $3,000 for processing. And these places are not places to just go any year. And there are not too many jobs available for foreigners in these countries. You understand? But for Australia, there are jobs. If you are into tech, there are jobs for you in Australia. If you are in the health sector, nurse, doctor, caregivers, phlebotomists, just name me, there are jobs for those people in Australia. If you are a certified truck driver, plumber, carpenter, 
Tyler, welder, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, agricultural engineers, computer engineers. There are jobs for you in Australia. Now, number five. This number five, I will still put it there. It's Canada. It's Canada. In as much as it has become difficult for some people to convert that visitor visa, but there are jobs in Canada. People are going to Canada with a work visa on a regular basis. People on a regular basis, they are getting visa sponsorship jobs from Canadian employers on a regular basis. So you must not go there with a visitor visa with the hope of conversion. So for those of you who have the visitor visa, fine. That's hope number one. So try to go online to get this to search for these jobs. In the description section, I will put a link to the Canada Job Bank, official job bank of Canada, where people are getting visa sponsorship jobs. That site belongs to the Canadian government. So employers are displaying jobs there. So that is all we have for this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Till I see you in my next video. Keep winning.